Sydney's famous opera house bathed in blue light, the first of many global landmarks to get the same treatment. It happens every April the 2nd, a UN-backed day to raise awareness about autism. It is a huge but often neglected condition. Autism often presents itself in early childhood, but is not always diagnosed soon enough. It has three basic symptoms, problems with communication, difficulty socialising and repetitive behaviour. New research published in the UK on Tuesday suggests the condition is far more widespread than previously thought. The report says one in a hundred people in the UK has autism. It's more common in boys, one in 50. That means there could be around 600,000 sufferers in the UK, as many as 70 million worldwide. It's not a, a physically very evident condition because it's around these softer issues around communication and social interaction. So you can't always look at somebody and say, oh, they obviously have autism. So I think families feel particularly around some of the challenging behaviours, that they're very often judged and misunderstood. For such a widespread condition, not much is known about its cause. At some point in the brain's development, something goes wrong. It could be genetic, chemical or environmental. Here in the UK and across the world, there's now a real drive to understand the origins of autism. There's even funding in place and a desperate need for brain tissue to let the scientists uncover its mysteries. But therein lies the problem. Here at the so-called Brain Bank in Oxford, they have received just 22 brain donations in four years. It's the same everywhere. Brains are not normally covered in organ donation programs, and there are profound cultural and psychological barriers discouraging donations. It's hoped just one of Autism Awareness Day's achievements will be to highlight just how many people suffer and to make people around the world think more carefully about donating their brains to help find a cure. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, London.